Hey there, Durable Dads and fantastic fans of Durable Dads. This video is number five in the survival guide, which is basic maintenance. That's my way of expressing self-care. Self-care has a little bit of a stigma and, and a whole industry built around it. So for the interests of not kind of going down the road of bubble baths and, you know, a glass of wine with candles, I'm going to put it in, in a different way, just kind of a more down to earth. How do we take care of ourselves? Basic maintenance. Okay, so since this is section number five and the premium content gets it all broken down into a whole lot of different um, aspects of basic maintenance, I just want to take a page out of this chapter and, and really kind of put a bug in your ear about something that I think most of us dads don't take as seriously in terms of self-care. I mean, yeah, we suck at that generally and we don't have a necessarily a plan in place or most of us don't have a coherent plan in place for how to take basic maintenance seriously. And so I'm going to address that a little bit. Let's go to the wall. Okay. I call this video from Band-Aids to Prevention. The reason why I call Band-Aids to Prevention is Band-Aids is like, okay, so the analogy here is you're out on, in the field or on the work site and you cut yourself. You don't have an emergency kit on you. It's bleeding pretty bad. So my personal go-to was always some paper, like some toilet paper and some electrical tape. Works until you can get back to a place where you can take care of it properly. However, some of us, especially when our lives are on fire and we have a whole lot of things going on and we're super busy, we don't necessarily take it past the toilet paper and electrical tape. We, we tend to duct tape stuff back together and make it work and, and then move on to the next fire. Okay, so you're bleeding, so to speak. So the analogy here is that, okay, so you're bleeding, you got to take care of this right now. Triage is the appropriate way of dealing with this. Okay, that's self-care. So and we're going to, we're going to take it down to the very basics. Okay, so once you're there, you've gotten home after your day and it's gotten you through the day and you take it all off. What's your wound care system? Are you going to be like, well, do I take this to the doctor and get it stitched up? Is it that bad? Or do I just kind of deal with it and put on some batter, some band-aids, clean it up, take care of it every day? Okay, so that is a strategy that's taken you out of your basic, very basic maintenance. You stop the bleeding. Now, how are you going to take care of yourself? Now, let's back that up. Before I go too far with this analogy, I want to express that it's a metaphor and the metaphor here is a wound um, something that's happened to you and that can be physical obviously and that's the one we're going to talk about because it lends itself well but also an emotional spiritual so to speak did you get your heart hurt or or did did you burn out or, or something happened that upset you and and made you kind of reset and rethink how you're doing things. Okay, so there's going to be a level, you know what, separation and divorce is, is, is a prime example of something that really affects every part of your life. Whether you've gone through it or not, or recovered or whatever, this is, I hate to say the word trauma, but it is a trauma. It's a big shock to the system, and it's going to bring up a bunch of things from your past because the way you've acted, it takes two to tangle, and that's tangled in with what helped bring this about. Whether you like it or not, or there's a clear perpetrator, you're in there, you're in the mix, and it's time to examine that. Okay, it's bad. You At first, it's going to get ugly, you're bleeding. Okay, take care of yourself. But as you progress and you put out the fires, you're going to notice the emotional, spiritual wounds. So let's talk about those in terms of the physical wound. Okay, so we're, we're, we're doing a cut on your finger and you use your fingers all the time. So you know what, having something pretty deep 
on your fingers that's almost doctor level, that's going to be something that's going to affect you. So maybe it is, maybe it's cut and you can see the bone and that's bad news. That's time to take it to a doctor. Okay, and the doctor might be a therapist in this, in this case. Okay, do what you got to do to get yourself up and functioning. That's important because you need to be able to move on with your life. So you're going to go to a doctor, get that taken care of. Or if it's not so bad, you can keep looking after it and do it yourself. But you have to be pretty focused on how you do it. Now, if that's bad enough, it's going to get stiff and you got to take care of that wound. Okay, so your next logical step here you see where I'm going? Next logical step is some physiotherapy. Okay, you're going to make sure that you get all of your functionality from this wound back. Okay, so take this back. Let's to your divorce separation. Um, you got fired from your job, career reset. All of those things are, are pretty heavy and heavy duty and you're going to have to do some work afterwards. Okay, so you've arrived at physiotherapy. You're gonna to have to think that through. You're gonna be like, okay, once a week or twice a week, I do these certain exercises in order to get that part of me functioning optimally. Okay, and that's the same as saying I'm doing the work. Okay, I'm learning the skills. Um, I'm learning how to recover from that wound. So the next step of this it would be to, okay, well, that injury obviously sucked. What did I do? What were the actions that preceded myself getting this injury? Was it completely like an act of God or was did I make some mistakes along the way and got a little complacent and bam, this happened. What am I going to do to make sure that this particular incident doesn't happen again? That's where you're taking your mindfulness, you're, you're getting to know yourself, and you're putting this into practice to take care of a wounding that's happened to you physically, emotionally, mentally. Okay? This is important. A lot of us, what I find, especially when life gets busy, you have a lot on your plate, and I'm saying we're all kind of there, when you're consumed with being a dad, and there's a lot going on, it's pretty tough to be like, right, how's this wound doing? Because you don't think about it. Your, your main objective here is to get yourself functioning so you can go run off to the next thing and, and take care of the next emergency that's coming up. Now, I would say that that, I, that makes sense, but it's counterintuitively the wrong way to handle things. You take care of this one wound, and if it's 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 a wound that's taking that's finding its way into all kinds of different aspects of your life so that's why i use a finger or a hand because you know what it's constantly going to be a pain in the butt okay and if you don't take care of that it's going to on some level affect you the rest of your life so you don't want to re-injure it and you don't want that old injury to kick but flare up from time to time so how are you preparing yourself to make sure it doesn't happen again and to deal, and deal with the occasional flare-up because old injuries are like that. But the natural propensity for us is to, right, taking care of field dressing, continue. It's not the right way to deal with it because like I was just saying, it laces into all kinds of different parts of your life and taking care of that wound properly is going to make sure that it doesn't continue to create more problems. Take care of that first, and when you're doing that, you need to come up with a coherent system. Do what you gotta do, and only you know what you need best. However, I would urge you, as a really fundamental part of self-care, of basic maintenance, to look after these things properly, to make sure that you're moving forward, this doesn't happen again, and you're prepared, if you get a flare up, to be able to handle this and to deal with that contingency. That's looking after you, and when you look after you, you can look after the people that rely on you. Okay, see you next lesson. Thanks for tuning in.